back. Oh my gosh, I'm back. Just had a just a quick run for work today, today or whatever. But give me one second. Yeah, I'm back. I'm back. I wanted to rant, uh, rant a little more, man. This is a popular, popular topic, man. This is a popular thing that's going on. I call it. I like to call it McDonald's Gate. McDonald's Gate. This guy, in, in a weird way, this reminds me because, like, yo, at the end of the day, like, we really <laughs> arguing about a father giving his kid poison. I, I just don't. I don't agree with giving kids fast food. Period. You know what I mean? But that's just my own thing. Whatever. We really, we, we really arguing over this shit, man. Like, it's always a battle of the sexes, men versus women. And it's usually black folks that's talking about this irrelevant bull. But it's not really irrelevant. This is, this is some real shit because there are a lot of treacherous, wretched. That's the real word. It's not ratchet. It's actually wretched. People started saying ratchet because they have an inability to pronounce the term wretched. W-R-E-T-C-H-E-D. But anyway, it's a lot of wretched women that uh, are terrible mothers, terrible parents, and just causing chaos in the lives of their child, children, and baby fathers. So it's good that something like this got out to shed light on a, like the fairer sex being just as treacherous, if not more treacherous than men, in some cases and instances. And if this man's goal was to trigger her or do something that he knew she'd be triggered by in order to show who she is to the world. And by golly, he accomplished his goal, man. He accomplished that. I, I don't know if he was thinking that far ahead. You know what I'm saying? Like, first of all, I don't know how old the kid is. I don't know how to, uh, the, the, if, he, if he's bringing the kid McDonald's, then obviously he has to be old enough. So I would assume that the kid is like five, at least five years old or better. I don't know how long he and the woman have been separated. I know she got other kids. Uh, maybe the kids are older, maybe they're younger. I don't I don't really know the log logistics of the situation. But if uh, she always react, reacts like this, when he tries to do something nice only for his child and not for the other kids in the house, because he's not obligated to. Um, if, if, if he knows she always reacts like this, then, you know, it's poor judgment on his part to keep trying to do something, even though he's doing a nice thing for his child, knowing how the mom, moms would react. So that's that's on him, you know? But if he was bringing him the kid food for years, like, you know, feeding his child for years, and all of a sudden she just reached the tipping point and kind of flipped, then he, he didn't see that coming. But I don't have enough information. I don't have enough informa information to ascertain that though. So I don't, I don't, I don't know how long he was bringing food over to the kid's house. I don't know if she always wild, uh, wilded out every single time he bought her food. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if she was calm for a couple years and just got tired of the fact that you know he was only feeding his son, but not looking out for his son's brothers and sisters, which he does not have an obligation to. No, he's not obligated to do that. But you know, if she's if she's a crazy mofo and resentful, and that's within her home, and you know she's going to react that way, even though it's not your responsibility, you still got to move smart, man. Like people, all people always have this idealistic mentality of how things in the world should be. Yes, people should follow traffic laws. Yes, people should follow the yard laws. Yes, people should be courteous. Yes, people should be respectful of your space. People should be all these things, and she should be a logical. A loving mother to a parent and, and, and fair and easygoing. She should be all those things. And yes, she should take accountability and she should be responsible for the kids that are hers that are his. And, have to, and she should not expect him to take care of the kids that aren't his. She should expect that. But we don't live in an idealistic world. We live in the real world. And sometimes people think and act like savages and you have to move accordingly. I think an alligator is one of the most beautiful creatures on the on the planet, man. I love like alligators and crocodiles and shit. I could just watch there's something about them. I, I fucking love those creatures. Beautiful creatures, man. Oh my bad. If they could be tamed and, and I and I can afford it and I can have a couple as a, a pet, I, I fucks with alligators, man. Like that's just starting to become one of my favorite animals. Right? But I'm not gonna, you know what I'm saying? And all I wanna do is love the alligator. I wanna pet it. You know what I'm saying? I will feed it, do all I have to do. But I'm not gonna go into the Everglades without the proper gear and attire and think, yo, because I love this alligator and I just wanna love it and, and do the right thing by it. 
that it ain't gonna turn around and snap on and eat me alive because an alligator has its nature. Fat ass bitches have their nature. And you have to move accordingly. Well, first of all, if you know she's a thought ass bitch, you shouldn't, I'm not saying don't smash him, but you shouldn't be leaving your seed, protect your seed, first of all. But that's already done, so we can't reverse that. But moving forward, if you meet new thoughts, don't get thoughts pregnant. That's the first thing. Secondly, if you know she's resentful and she moves a certain way, even if you have the best in, in, intentions, you still got to move a certain way if you don't want her to blow up. Yeah, yeah, yes, you shouldn't bow down and cater and, and blah, blah, blah. And I'm going to be a man. I don't give a fuck what you say, but you understand. Yeah, you can stand up. You can fight for yourself. You can do all this shit, but your kid can't. You're not around your kid 24-7. So you do something, you know, even though you have the best of intentions and they say no good deed goes unpunished, but you have the best of intentions and you're doing what you think is right, but it's causing uh, resentment. She can't get at you or she can't physically beat you. So what does she do? She takes it out on a child. He bought food for the kid. She got mad because they ain't buying enough of the house. It's not his, it's not his responsibility. We all know that. She, man, she got mad and threw the shit down. So his kid still don't eat. His kid still suffers. If he would have moved differently, all right, you know what? I got to feed my kid. I'm about to feed my kid. But I know if I only bring this little bit of food, she going to be mad, throw the shit away. Nobody's eating. So I got to bring a couple extra, you know, four for fours, a little fix, 12, three, four for fours. Matter of fact, you can spend $12. Matter of fact, you can do two four for fours, get two burgers, two nuggets, two fries, and two sodas. You know what I'm saying? And that's enough to split between four kids. That's still enough to split between four kids. Spending eight dollars. And yeah, 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 yeah. You you bow down or whatever, and you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, people say, oh, if you keep bending, uh, making her bend into her will, she's going to keep adding on, keep adding on. It's only eight dollars, bro. That's the cheapest insurance or whatever, you know what I mean? And if you can just maintain the peace and the sanctity for a couple extra dollars, fuck it. D -d Dudes trick off on hoes all the time. Dudes drop stacks and stacks of money on dirty ass hoes all the time just to get a nut off. All niggas, right, here we niggas is dropping thousands of dollars on hoes all the time just to get a nut off. You can't pay an extra $5 just to keep your crazy baby mama off of, off of your back, buying a motherfucking five for five, just to maintain the peace and the sanctity, and that the, to help maintain the peace and the sanctity in that house, you will drop thousands of dollars on holes, risk life and limb, risk getting the bitches pregnant, risk disease, risk beef. You willing to risk all this shit, and you paying for the risk, and you paying thousands of dollars, but you can't pay an extra five. To seven dollars, man. I don't put the blame on the man. I don't put it on him. I don't. But what I'm saying is, he could have moved a different way, more strategic, to to circumvent it. All of this outcry. No, it's not his fault. If I'm driving without a license, without a registration, without insurance, and I'm the best driver, I'm driving like Dale Earnhardt Jr. And it's prime. But if I don't have that paperwork and somebody crashes into my vehicle, even though it's their fault, I'm still at fault because I shouldn't have been in that situation in the first place. A lot of times things that we go through, even if it's somebody else's fault, we can always look back on it and think of what we could have sli slightly tweaked to have a different outcome. It's about taking a a accountability for our role in the situation. No, he was not wrong, but he had complete control over that situation he could have he, he had a complete especially if he knows how she reacts he had that even that much more advantage you know how she get down all right damn you know what i'm saying all right, those ain't my kids or whatever but you know what i want to keep the peace and sanctity with my child but let me just let me you know what i mean let me get these like couple five for fives real quick it's only ten dollars you know these are they little ass kids with little ass stomachs it's whatever and i'm gonna look, look like a hero around these kids and if his mother is an a-hole, I'm going to even look more like a hero because the kids going to like me more than like the moms. And when they get older, they're going to respect that. When I'm old and in retirement home, now i got a group of kids that appreciate me. You understand what I'm saying? That's going to take care of me and make sure I'm taken care of when I'm too old to take care of myself. Man, you got to think the long game. Not just trying to prove her wrong. Not just trying to show how good you are. I mean, if you, like I said, if you're trying to expose her and you're trying to get custody in your kid for your, you know, for your children, but you need like hardcore evidence as to why she shouldn't know she should no longer have custody 
been broke. The dude is a genius, man. No, 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 uh, no if ends or buts about it. The dude is a is a savant when it comes to that. But I don't believe he was thinking that far ahead. I don't believe that. But be that that be that as it may, now that it's a social media sensation and now that this uh, situation uh, went viral, I hope he's watching a lot of reactions and I hope he's reading a lot of comments so he can know specifically how to move to get uh, custody of his children. Because if his mother's that volatile and she gonna throw, if you know what I'm saying, out of the four, five baby fathers that she had, one of them is actually trying to hold it down and, and do the right thing by his kid. If she gonna compromise the, the comfort of one of her children because one of the baby fathers isn't taking care of all of the other baby father's children, She could lose custody easily, and he 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 has it on tape. He has that shit on tape, man. And the whole idea, I ain't really want to talk about this, but I'll mention it really, really quick. Like sometimes we talk about what people are going through as parents and with their kids. If you don't have children, people that do have children sometimes say, "Oh, well, you don't have kids, so you won't understand. Or, you don't have kids, so don't comment." And that's crazy to me. Y'all. You know what I mean? Because you don't necessarily have to be in a situation to give your opinion or idea of what could have been done differently uh, to probably have a different outcome. That's just basic logic one-on-one. -on -one. I'm not saying I have the, the, the perfect answer of how to have a different outcome. What you know is what he did contributed to the outcome. Even though he had the best of intentions, that contributed to the outcome. So obviously the answer is in the problem. If he tweaked what he did, the outcome would have been different. I don't know if the outcome would have been better. I don't know if the outcome would have been worse. But I can imagine he does not enjoy the outcome. That's better. Oh, yeah. oh, what I was saying. Well, what I do know is he may not have known the outcome of his actions as far as trying to do do good for it, do do good for his child. He may not know the outcome, but. We can all agree if his actions were different, the outcome would have been different. Whether the outcome would have been better or whether, whether the outcome would have been worse, we don't know. But what we do know is if he did something different in that situation, the results would have been different. And I don't have to be a parent to know that different actions produce different outcomes. Like people need to stop being so dismissive. Oh, you don't got kids, so you don't know. You can't talk about it. People need to stop being so, so submissive. Or, uh, dismissive, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Because, you know what I'm saying? Whether you're a parent or whether you aren't a parent, universal law doesn't change. The laws of nature doesn't, don't change. Mathematics don't change. Law of attraction doesn't change. And karma doesn't change. There's certain universal laws and principles within the universe. It doesn't matter what situation you're in. It applies to all things, whether you're a parent or whether you are not a parent. So we need not be so dismissive, especially when it's something that's public and it's put out on a public forum. Like I can see if this was, uh, this uh, McDonald's gate video was posted in like a group that was only for like, uh, exclusive for parents only. And then somehow you wiggled your way into the group and you're not a parent and you wanna throw, you know, throw your words around. It's kind of like, like those pro-black groups that like it'll be like one person that slips into the pro-black group and gives their opinion like nah get the, you ain't supposed to be there that is a, that is an exclusive private group we don't want to hear your opinions but if it's on a public platform people are going to talk about it and you don't necessarily have to be an, a parent to give your opinion on parenting why because at one point we were all children and we all had parents and you learn the basic uh tenets of parenting from being raised by somebody that's older than you even if you don't have parents even if you have uh, foster parents or some type of um, big brother, big sister figure, or what have you. You still have something that gives you an idea of how to treat people that are younger than you, whether they are yours or they aren't. So I don't, I don't, I don't buy the dismissive, well, you don't know because you don't have. Nah, man, I don't agree with that. We all, we all like sports. We all like uh, movies. Uh, we all like sports. We all like movies. We all like like iPhones and different products. None of us, most of us can't build phones, right? Most of us aren't professional athletes, right? Most of us aren't professional entertainers. But what do we do? We give our opinion on 
entertainers all the time and how the entertainment could be better. We give our opinions on cell phones and things of that nature all the time and give our ideas on how the phones be, can be better when we have no idea how the phones were built, but we always give our opinions on it. We uh, are entertained by uh, football, basketball, baseball, hockey, and soccer, and 99.9% .9 of us will never be in any of those professional leagues, but we give our opinion on how the players can do better and be more successful and thrive. We give those opinions all the time, and none of us are professional athletes. The majority of us are, are, aren't phone engineers, and the majority of us are not super superstar actors, but we give our opinions on those things and suggestions to the point where sometimes we are willing to fight each other all the time. So miss me with the whole bullshit of, oh, you're not a parent, Cause you, so you can't get in your opinion. Not being something does not negate you from giving your opinion and your idea of something that can work. Because the opinion of what you give is based on the alternative of the information of what they're putting out. Okay, you're putting out this, you're putting out this, you're putting out this. You keep taking food, like one meal to your kid that has five, six, five or six brothers that's not your kids. And he, the, the, the bag always gets stolen. The mother always throw the bag in your face. Uh, the, the mother always throw the bag in your face. Uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? Whatever. It, it always causes drama. It always causes drama. Now, I'm not a parent, but I keep seeing that. And the one common thing is you thinking she's going to do something different by keep bringing him one meal. And it always causes strife, and he still never eats. The definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, but expecting different results. So if you want different results, you have to do different things. I don't have to be a fucking parent to understand that. I don't have to be a parent to understand that. Why not try something different? As stated before earlier in the video, if you do something different, I'm not saying that it will guarantee better results, but there's no denying that doing different things from how you previously done it will guarantee different results. And we're trying to have different results and outcomes. Unless, like I said, unless he's on some Kaiser Sose shit and he knew she was going to react this way and he's trying to get custody of his children so he's like you know what I already know how this shit gonna react I'm tired of throwing her throwing my son's food down but this is the wild shit though this is why I know for a fact he wasn't thinking and trying to set her up in this way because he's not the one that recorded the video she recorded the video that's not him behind the camera he's in front of the camera that is her, so that is not even his plan. But she's so stupid, and if he has any type of logic or intelligence, she just convicted herself. She like AR ad on Vlad TV. Yeah, I used to sell these drugs and everything back in the days. You know, I, I shot motherfuckers and we killed niggas. We was really getting it, man. She done exposed and told herself the video is viral. She can't delete her original, original video that she put up clearly for clout and trying to expose him. But anything, she makes him look like a good man because at the end of the day, he's still taking care of his child, doing doing his duties. Now he's moving improperly with it. He's moving improperly with it, but he's still doing what he has to do. It's like, it's like I'll give you a, a, a different analogy. Like say your, your kid, you know, around ten years old goes to a rough ass school where, where the kids is bad as hell and they always steal sneakers and, and things of that nature. But first of all, why is your kid in that rough ass school? You need to put your kid in a different school. But besides that, if you know they in a, a rough ass school with a bunch of thieves and shit, if you know the kids is, a, is in some rough ass school with a bunch of thieves, why would you give them the latest Jordans if you know and, and on top of that, he keep getting his, 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 every time you give him some new Jordans, the Jordans keep getting taken off of his feet by some um, group of badass kids. You are putting your child in a dangerous position. And yes, you are trying to do the right thing, but you're doing the right thing around a bunch of savages. You got to move differently in certain situations. It's not about, it's not about bowing down. Like, and this, that's another thing about that annoys me about black people, man, because we always try to be tough. Like, yo, nobody can't tell me nothing. I got to do this. Man, fuck that. I'm going to do whatever I want. I'm going to wear my chain. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to go in the hood. I'm going to say whatever I want. Yeah, you're going to say whatever you want. You're going to do all that shit. But these motherfuckers are savages and they're alligators and they don't think logically. And you are thinking way too highly for individuals thinking they're going to be as fair and as rational as you are. You got to move differently. And I don't, I don't need to be a parent to understand that shit, yo. I don't got to be a parent to understand that, man. It's basic listen, laws. It's basic lo universal laws and, 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 and principles, man. 
The first law of nature is self-preservation. Your body will try to do whatever it is. Your mentality will try to do whatever it is to preserve yourself, to preserve you. So if you're putting yourself in precarious situations that compromise the potential, uh, that compromise your safety, then you are violating that first law. And that applies to everything across the board, man. I don't got nothing to do with a parent, yo. Basic logic, yo. That's all I'm saying. I, I do not, I don't fault the brother, man. I don't fault him, but I know he wasn't thinking to set her up because she recorded the video, unless he's on some super high intelligent motherfucking mega brain type shit where he knew she was going to record him. He knew she was going to upload the video. He knew she, that, that she was going to expose herself. He's like, yo, I ain't even set her up. That's that's what she did on some, on some, now that's called gaslighting. On some gaslighting shit. He knew how exactly how she was going to react. He set the whole situation up because he knew how she was going to react. If that was on some, if he, if he did that, then this brother is like Kaiser so safe from the usual, usual suspects. I totally get that, man. But there's ways that if he was trying to avoid the unnecessary drama, and I spoke about this in my last, I spoke about this in my last video, man. There's ways that he could have um, circumvented that. There's ways that he could have avoided that that entire situation, man. What am I going? Let's let's read some of these comments real quick. Let's read some of these comments. Amber Tut, she said, absolutely agree. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Anyone can have an opinion about anything. Exactly. And sometimes those opinions are meaningless. But everyone, oops, everyone has experienced human interaction. Exactly. Most of us have had parents or no parents and all of us were kids. That is a fundamental part of humanity. That's why I love fucking Amber is like one of the only few women that could like logically Amber Tut from Washington. Like there's a bunch of Ambers on my friends list, but Amber Tut from Washington or whatever. She's from the West Coast. She one of the only few women that 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 gets it, that that thinks logically and that thinks like a logical man. So I really appreciate you, Amber. Let's finish reading this. That is a fundamental part of humanity and not some exclusive thing that only some people can speak on. If you don't have experienced parenting, you still have experience being a kid. Bingo. Basic show, social interaction. Her second comment was if it wasn't a simple thing to educate oneself about without personal experience, we would have zero child psychologists who were parents and zero OBGYNs who are men. Bingo. Bingo. That's a mic drop on that. But like I said, if he was on some Super Kaiser so say, or even if he wasn't, he has all the information necessary and needed. Bruh, stop worrying about bringing your kids McDonald's, man. Because first of all, that shit is poison and we shouldn't be feeding our children that shit anyway. That's that's bit poor parenting. But besides that, get custody of your kids, man. If you got if if, if your significant ex ex other, your your baby mother, your baby father is a crazy individual and that would do shit like this, man, your goal shouldn't be trying to get them a burger. Your goal should be trying to get custody. I'm out. Peace.